Hi everyone, it's Lourdes Galang from thephilippineproperties.com. So for today, I'll be discussing with you a detailed project presentation of one of our projects from Filigree, the Enclave Alabang at Danghari Road, Las Pina City. So if you've been passing through the Anghari Road, I'm sure you must have seen our project, the Enclave Alabang. And these are the actual photos that we have. These are the house models that we have inside the Enclave Alabang. And this is how it looks like during the night. Now, what is the Enclave Alabang? Enclave Alabang is a 13-hectare residential subdivision. We offer house and lot packages and residential lots. Now, as of the moment, as I am recording this presentation, we no longer have house and lot packages. All of it are sold. We only have residential lots available. And out of the two, almost 200 residential lots that we've offered when we launched this in 2016, we only have 18 lots available. So as you can see, the project is really selling fast because a lot of our clients sees this as a good investment or for the first time home buyers, they actually, you know, fall in love with the place because it's very exclusive, it's very secured, and you're actually in a very good community. Now, the theme of our project is tropical modern architecture. And then our architect is H1 Architecture. Landscape consultant is Ayacom. Interior design is Bougie Real Architecture Design. Now, where is Enclave Alabang located? Okay, so this is the location map of the Enclave Alabang. And as you can see from the map, it's very strategically located at the Anghari Road. And that's because it is located in several entry and exit points like the MCX, the Manila Cavite Expressway. So if you want to go to Makati, you could use this expressway and then use SLEX or the Skyway exit if you want a faster travel time. If you want to go to Laguna, then you could use MCX and SLEX as well or even go to Batangas. There's also the Susana Heights exit and there's also the Phil Invest exit. And it's just 7 kilometers away from Festival Alabang and 10 kilometers away from Alabang Country Club. So you can actually go within Phil Invest City in a span of like, what, 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how you drive or how fast you could actually drive going there. Now, if you want to go to Cavite, if you plan to go to Cavite, you could use the Anghari Road or the Molino Paliparan Road. And if you plan to go to Las Piñas or to Manila, you could also use the Alabang Sapote Road. So it's very strategically located in the Anghari Road, Espina City. Now, if you take a closer look, I'm sure you're asking, why would I choose this location? If you're looking at this as an investment and later on sell it to your, you know, prospective buyers, why would your you know, prospective buyers even, you know, choose this location. Or if you're a first time home buyer, why would you want to live in this location? Or why would you want to choose this location for you and your family to live with? So let's take a closer look at where Enclave Alabang is located. So as you can see, the Enclave Alabang is just, you know, beside Ayala Alabang or almost just beside Ayala Alabang. And also it's near Ayala South Vale. And I'm sure you know the high market prices of the properties inside Ayala Alabang as well as Ayala South Vale. And knowing that you're just, you know, within this area, within this location, then obviously you will also end up having high market prices for your property at Enclave Alabang. Now, Ayala Alabang is a high-end residential area and also Ayala South Vale. And there is a reason for that. I mean, the community that they have as well as the accessibility and everything. So, you know, living at the Enclave Alabang would also mean the same thing, that you would, you know, have those accessibility and the kind of community that you will have, like, you know, peaceful community and a very safe and secured uh, community that you could have. And also, it's just beside Portofino Heights. And, you know, the prices inside Portofino Heights, the properties there... And you also know the prices at Portofino Heights because it's also a high-end residential area. Now, let's take a look at how many minutes or what would be your travel time if you live at Enclave Alabang or your prospective buyers will be choosing this location. Like, you know, they'd probably ask, how many minutes would it take me to go to Makati? So if you're going to Makati City from the Enclave Alabang, if you take the Skyway exit, then 
in 30 minutes time depending again on how you drive or if there's traffic or anything so when i actually uh, check this in google maps there i think there was no traffic at this hour or this time so it will probably just take you 30 minutes going to makati if you will use the skyway exit but again you know even if there's traffic like 30 to 45 minutes of your time from the enclave alabang is not bad and then if you're going to Novali, Santa Rosa, Laguna, like if, if you want, you know, have to have family bonding during the weekends with your family or meeting your friends or family, then you could take the South Luzon Expressway. It will just take you 32 minutes going to Novali if there is no traffic at all. But if there will be traffic, then maybe around uh, 32 minutes to 45 or 50 minutes or an hour going to Novali, Santa Rosa, Laguna if there is traffic at South Luzon Expressway okay now if you're going to Batangas like you're planning to have an outing with your family or friends or you just want to relax and you know have some fun at the beach or you know go swimming then you could take the South Luzon Expressway and it'll take you 54 minutes to actually reach Batangas Lipa Batangas specifically and then if you're going to Las Pina City and even if there's, you know, slight traffic, you could use the, the Anghari Road or Alab and Alabang Sapote Road, which will take you 25 minutes for you to be at Las be in Las Piñas. So de depending on where you want to go in Las Piñas, because it's it's actually a, a huge area as well. But yeah, 25 minutes and even if there's traffic, maybe around 30 minutes or up to an hour if you would take the Anghari Road and Alabang Sapote Road. Now, if you also want to go to Cavite, Okay, you could take the, the Anghari Road and Governor's Drive. So, it you could actually pass through the Smarinas as, as well as Trece Martires. And in one hour and two minutes, you could be in Cavite City. Now, if you're going to the airport, okay, say for example at Naia Terminal 3, if you take the Skyway exit, it will take you 29 minutes to be at Naia Terminal 3. Or if you take the South Luzon Expressway, then it will take you 39 minutes. So it's it's longer, obviously, um, for you to get to Naia Terminal 3. So it's very accessible going to the airport. Like if you have, you know, travels like international and if you want to pick up friends or family from the airport, then it's very accessible to your place if you will choose the Enclave Alabang. Okay. Now... Maybe you're asking, so where can I go if I will choose to live at the Enclave Alabang? Like, you know, what, what kind of places could I go to? Or even the prospective buyers that you might have if you're gonna be looking at this as an investment. And what kind of lifestyle you can have in the south because it is located in the south area. And if you're coming from the north or if you're considering buying a property in the north, maybe now you're asking, I mean, what? What kind of lifestyle will I have if I, you know, choose to live in the South with my family or if my prospective buyers will actually consider living in the South? Okay, so we could actually tell you that you could have, you know, three kind of lifestyles. You could have leisure, pleasure, as well as luxury. Remember, this is a high-end residential area along with other high-end residential projects such as Ayala Alabang, Ayala South Vale, Portofino Heights, and Versailles. And, you know, these people have chosen to live in the South, to live in this area because of this kind of lifestyle that it actually offered them, okay? So this is Philinvest City. And what is inside Philinvest City? There's Festival Mall Alabang, and inside Festival Mall Alabang, there's ShopWise. So if you're looking to do your groceries or buy things for your pantry, I would recommend going to ShopWise. This is where I go uh, for my groceries and for any stuff that I need for my pantries because, you know, I could really save a lot. There's a huge savings that I can have with my budget if I go to ShopWise, okay? Now, there's also Commerce Center. Like, if you value privacy, you could go to Commerce Center. You, th there's a lot of retail shops there and fine dining restaurants. And what's good about it, it's not crowded. And you could really enjoy uh, the privacy of the place or the privacy of the mall. And if you also want to watch cinemas, 
there's a cinema here in Commerce Center, and obviously because it's not too crowded, then you would have uh, some private time, okay, uh, if, if you want to watch cinema. And the South Supermarket, an alternative place where you could do your groceries as well. We also have the Crimson Hotel located in Philinvest City. So if you want to have a staycation with your family, like, you know, home away from your home, then you could go here at Crimson Hotel. And Acacia Hotel, like this is good for, um, you know, business conferences as well, business events, business meetings. And also, like, if you want to have a date with your husband or your wife or with the whole family, you could dine in here. They really have good food. Or if you also want to have a staycation. And then, Vivre Hotels. Okay, so there's actually three hotels within Phil Invest City that you could choose from for your staycation. Or if there's a business meeting or business conference that you have to attend to or you just simply want to date your husband, your wife, or your friends, or your family. And then the Northgate Cyber Zone, it's what, what they actually call as the Information Technology Park within Phil Invest City because of the several, you know, BPOs and IT, because of the several BPOs and IT companies that are actually um, in, in, in this place. So if you want to, you know, build your business or have, if you're looking for career growth or op career opportunities, then you might as well check Northgate Cyber Zone within Phil Invest City. And then the Palms Country Club, if you're already a member of Palms Country Club, or if you're wanting to uh, get a membership in Palms Country Club, then you could enjoy the amenities that they have there. They, they have fine dining, swimming pool, uh, business function rooms as well. So you could consider being a member of the Palms Country Club. And then the Civic Plaza. Okay, there's a lot of commercial lots available in Civic Plaza where if you plan to build your business here in Phil Invest City, then you could buy one of the commercial lots that we still have available for sale. And you could enjoy, you know, community services that are very near at Civic Plaza. And also South Station Transport Hub. We also have the South Station Transport Hub, where in if you or your employees would actually think of commuting, then it you will have an easier access of transportation because uh, there's a lot of buses and other um, transportation that would take you to Makati, Manila, Edsa, or even going to Cavite or to Batangas or to Laguna and even, you know, going to Las Piñas and um, Loton or Manila. So it, it would be easier for you to actually commute if you'd go to South Station uh, Transport Hub because all the rides that you will need to go to a specific place is almost there. There's also Toyota Cars, Toyota Alabang inside Phil Invest City, and Ford Alabang, Subaru Alabang, Hyundai Alabang, and we also have Wilcon Builders Depot within Phil, Phil Invest City. There's also Westgate Alabang. This is also inside Phil Invest City. Now, what's inside Westgate Alabang? Okay, for fine dining, we have Neil's Kitchen. There's Canin Club, there's Toos if you love Spanish food, and then Butamaru, and also Sushi Ninja, okay? So if you love sushis, then you could visit this restaurant. And then for sports or wellness needs, we have Anytime Fitness and Fitness First. And Karada Alabang, it's, it's actually my favorite place. I actually go here. Like if you want to have a therapeutic massage, you know, not just a simple massage for relaxation, but to, to really um, treat your body, then you could visit Karada Alabang. It could help you relieve um, neck pains, shoulder pains, or body pains that you're actually having. So yeah, it's, it's, it's inside Westgate Hub. And also Bello Medical Clinic for your you know, health and beauty needs for your skincare needs. There's also Kathy Valencia Skin Clinic, CV Skin Clinic for your skincare needs. And then there's Dental Town and Tang Roma Salon, okay, for your hair and beauty needs. 
Okay, so for lifestyle and leisure, there's the Abbas Orchard. It's a Montessori school. So if you have kids, small kids, that you're planning to enroll in a Montessori, then you could check them out. It's located in Westgate, Alabang. And there's also Fun Ranch. So if during the weekends you want to have fun with your kids, then you could visit this place. And then Kona Bikes, if you're into biking, this is, this is actually owned by Oyo Soto. And then Action Hobbies, if you're a collector. And... There's also Audi Alabang and Volvo Alabang. And this CW Home Depot. So it's like, you know, Wilkin Builders Depot as well, like for your home needs and um, any stuff that you actually would need for your, for, your, for your house. Then you could visit this place. And then there's SNR if you're a fan of SNR. I'm a fan of SNR Pizza. Or, you know, if, if you love shopping at SNR, then it's located at Westgate, Alabang. And then Ashley Furniture for your furniture needs. And then East West Bank is also located in Westgate, Alabang. And Philippine Airlines. So if you want to book tickets uh, for your travels, then you can visit Philippine Airlines in Westgate, Alabang. There's also what we call the Vista City in the south, okay? And what's inside Vista City? Okay, there's Avia Lifestyle Center and there's a BDO Bank inside Avia Lifestyle Center. There's McDonald's. Okay, I love the fries at McDonald's. There's Starbucks for coffee lovers like me. I love having Starbucks almost everywhere here in the South. Okay, I actually live in the South and I love South, to be honest with you. So there's Racks. Okay, and... There is also Ace Hardware, okay, for your hardware needs at home. And then H&M, Uniqlo, and Cotton On for your shopping needs. And Mesa, if you want to eat, you know, good Filipino foods. And then TGI Fridays. There's Mamalu's Kitchen inside Vista City. Payless for those who are shoe lovers who loves shopping for shoes. And then Power Books for book lovers. And then Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. Okay, Hap Chan, it's, you know, a Chinese restaurant. And I actually love their asado, I think. So there's Anytime Fitness. This is open 24 hours, 7 days a week. That's why it's called Anytime Fitness. So if you're living within this area or in your Evia Lifestyle Center, like, you know, my husband and I are a member of Anytime Fitness and... We could go there in like 10 to 15 minutes, so like at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. if we want to. It's very convenient and you could really, you know, have the whole gym for yourself. There's also LBC, like if you want to send someone a mail or a parcel, then there's LBC inside the Lifestyle Center. There's also the Derma Gold, okay, for your skin care needs and vista cinema if you want to watch cinemas they've actually got good you know uh cinemas in in via so there's also Molita lifestyle center here in the south okay so what's inside Molita lifestyle center okay for fine dining they have barcino bose coffee ramen yushu ken if you know mendocoro in makati uh, it's their sister company so you know for me this, this is where I've actually tasted the best ramen. Well, that's for me, okay? I, I'm, I'm not sure uh, with you though. But yeah, um, I really like eating here because I really like the ramen. And then you also have omakase, one of our favorites as well. My kids were able to eat their sushi first time here in omakase because their sushi is really, really good. Well, that's for me as well, okay? But yeah, you could, you know... Um, enjoy all these fine dining restaurants here at the Molita Lifestyle Center. And then Chairman Wang's, okay, they've got good food here as well. Cuenca, I think it's a Spanish food. So if, if you're a fan of Spanish food, then you can try this here at Molita Lifestyle Center. Now for your health and beauty needs, there's also Tokyo Health Link. And for beauty enhancements, there's JY Wellness. And retail shops like BMW, Pure Gold, okay, if you do your groceries at Pure Gold, then it's inside Molito Lifestyle Center. There's also Fed and Life for your insurance needs. 
And there's Titan, which is a shoe store selling rubber shoes. And I think this is actually owned by a former Philippine basketball player. Okay. And there's also service shops like Cebuana Luwilier. And then Axe Manila. Okay. It's a school for performing arts wherein you could enroll your kids if they want to learn more about dancing or ballet, gymnast, or singing. Then it's, it's a good place where you could enroll your kids. And then Frank Prevo, okay, it's a hair salon. And Kumon, okay, so you could also enroll your kids if you want them to learn more uh, in math and reading or to help them with their school. And for banking services, there's BDO, Bank of Commerce, Security Bank, Metro Bank. And there's Robinson's Bank, and there's also HSBC Bank located in Molito Lifestyle Center. So all of these banks are just within Molito Lifestyle Center, okay? So that's for your banking needs. Now let's take a look at the Madrigal Business Park, which is also located in the south, and what you could actually do here or what, you know, what they could offer you. Now for hotels, there's the B Hotel and Azumi Boutique Hotel. This is located in Madrigal Business Park. So, you know, for staycation or for business meetings, business conferences, then you could probably choose these hotels. And for establishments like Alabang Town Center, which is my favorite go-to place, Alabang Town Center. I, I love going to Alabang Town Center. And Meralco, for your Meralco payments, we have PLDT Alabang in Madrigal Business Park, um, MIT International School, I think this is more for uh, foreigners. Like, I, I see a lot of Koreans actually going into this um, school. And then BPI Family Savings. BPI Film Life Alabang is located in Madrigal. And then there's Isuzu Alabang and Honda Cars Alabang. Now, if you go to Laguna, you might as well visit Nuvali. And it's still located in the south area. So this is what you could actually do in the valley or what you could actually have in the valley. So for fine dining and shopping, there's Ayala Mall, Solanad. And then for education, okay, there's Saver School in the valley. And then Miriam College. Okay, now for work, um, they have the one Evo Tech and two Evo Tech, which I think houses PPOs and, you know, other um, IT companies as well. And then, if you want to do outdoor activities, they have uh, bike trails available, uh, the Camp Inn in the valley, and also a wake park, and lakeside activities. Like, you know, my kids, every time we go here, they like watching the koi fish. So, as you can see, um, you could also have this lakeside activities if you plan to, to go to the valley. And, it's, and because it's in the south, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be near to your place if you plan to actually invest in this location or to actually live in this location. Now, what are the nearest schools? Uh, we have the Parif Wood Rose. Okay, these are for girls. And then the Parif South Ridge. Okay, these are for boys. And then the San Beda College Alabang. And by the way, there's also going to be FEU Alabang inside Philinvest City. So you might consider that as well. If your kids are going to go to college or they're going to college, then you might you know, consider um, FEU Alabang or the schools. Now, for the nearest churches in this location or here in the south, we have the CCF Christ Commission Fellowship Church. This is where my family actually attend to. We're a member of uh, CCF. And then we have the New Life Alabang. We also have GCF and the Feast Alabang, which is located inside Festival Mall. Okay, so you also have St. James Parish Church. And then the nearest hospital and clinic is Asian Hospital and Medical Center and Healthway Medical Clinic, which is inside ATC or Alabang Town Center. Now, what else can you do at Philinvest City? So if all that I've shown you when it comes to the kind of lifestyle that you could enjoy and experience living here in the South or living uh, within this location, you're still thinking, what else can I do at Philinvest City? Okay, so this is the location map of Philinvest City, okay? So it will give you an overview of what 
you could actually see in Philinvest City. So there's the, the Westgate, the Palms Country Club. And as I've mentioned, there will be FEU Alabang inside Philinvest City. And then we have here all the hotels, all the other condo units, and the Festival Super Mall, the City Center, uh, the Civic Drive, and the Northgate Cyber Zone. And as, as you can see, it's very accessible going to Laguna, to Daanghari, to Las Piñas, okay, using the South Luzon Expressway, going to the airport, to Makati. Okay, so now you're still wondering, what else can I do at Philinvest City? Now, aside from having the best lifestyle that you could have here in the South, then what you could do at Philinvest City is to build your business and grow your career. You could build your business through Parkway Corporate Center. It's a 32-story office condominium at Philinvest City where you get the advantage of having a smart and green corporate address. Now, if you've already got an existing business that offers services like IT you know, solutions, or you're a doctor seeing patients and you would want to have your own clinic that would cater to your, you know, customer base, which are in the South or clients or patients that are living in the South, then you could start building your business by getting an office unit at Parkway Corporate Center. And we still have office units available and I could, you know, actually help you on that as well. So that's one way of being able to build your business. Or you could actually invest in an office unit here at the Parkway Corporate Center. And then if you have family or friends that you know would be able to take advantage of renting the office unit from you, then you could earn rental income from the office unit that you will be buying from us and then have it rented out to your family or friends who have already existing businesses and that they could use it as their office to cater to their clients or customers. So, you know, there's really a lot of ways where you could build your business at Parkway Corporate Center. And as your property consultant, I could actually help you with that. And I could, you know, sit down with you and think of what, you know, probable business you might be able to put up if even if, you know, you want to buy an office unit and does not have an idea yet of what kind of business you would want to have, then I could help you with that. I could help you sit down and see what kind of business would be profitable for you if, if you decide to invest at Parkway Corporate Center as well. But, you know, that's one thing that you could do at Philinvest City to build your business. And then we also have the Spectrum District within Philinvest City. It's what we call the heart of the city, the economic core of the city, and it's the premier central business district because, you know, it houses office hub and it's it's home to large multinational and local corporations and it it has high-rise office and residential towers within this uh, district and Philinvest City has become home to some of the biggest BPOs and as I've said major local and multinational corporations so it's an advantage for your career growth and also for building your business, remember, if you will build your business here, you would want to be beside um, local and um, you would want to be beside with major local and multinational corporations because you know that there will be a lot of business going on in this area or in this location. And that's the reason why the Spectrum District is called the economic core of the city and it is a premier central business district. And we also have the Civic Plaza. Okay. The advantage of having you know, your business in this location, if you plan to purchase a commercial lot from us in Philinvest, so we still have a few commercial lots available for sale. And if you're interested with that, I can help you with it. And you, know, you, could take, you, make, and you can make use of those commercial lots to put up your own condominium that you could sell. And then you could also you know, put up your own office condo unit that you could have it rented for people who want to have an office space or, you know, even sell it as well as an office unit to those who would want to buy office units. So there's a lot of potential that you could do with a commercial lot. Or you could put up a mall, just like the Commerce Center, where you could have, you know, the retail spaces rented out. So, you know, there you go. You'll have rental income coming into your pocket. Now, the commercial lots, okay, 
will enjoy community services such as fire station, police station, post office, and local government offices within you know this area, the Civic Plaza. So if you plan to purchase a commercial lot, you might as well consider purchasing a commercial lot within Philinvest City. Because as I've said, you know, there's a lot of business going on in here. It's very accessible. The location is really, really to your advantage. And aside from that, we also have the South Station Transport Hub, wherein, you know, your future employees or your future tenants would be able to access easier transportation going to Makati, Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, Manila, Loton, Edsa. It, it's a transportation that makes life easier for, for the commuters. And we also have the Northgate Cyber Zone. Okay, so if you're looking for career growth or if you plan to live in this location and your kids after they graduate from college are looking for career opportunities, that they could actually start within Northgate Cyber Zone. They could actually start within Northgate Cyber Zone because as I've said, it's the information technology part. And there's a lot of companies that they could choose from in starting to build their career. Um, so it's also called the BPO IT Park of the South. It's PESA registered. Okay, and there, there are business process outsourcing companies in here. Knowledge process outsourcing, education and learning. There are software and multimedia design companies. There are call centers in here, e-commerce banking and financial services as well as well as well as other it support businesses so as you can see there's a lot of career growth that you or your kids will have in the future just within northgate cyber zone so if you plan to actually live in the south or to live in this area um, near phil city then you know that you could actually work here because there's a lot of you know work opportunities or career opportunities that you could have at Northgate Cyber Zone. Diba mas okay yon yung alam mo na parang within this area pwedeng dito ka na tumira and at the same time malapit lang din yung magiging workplace mo or where you could actually build your business or your career. Okay, so that's that's one thing that you have to look for when you're deciding to choose a location where you could live with your family also where you could work kasi mas malapit ka so workplace mo then mas marami kang time that you will be able to enjoy with your family because you don't have to worry about the travel time like traveling for like one or two hours or if you get stuck in the traffic like three hours bago ka makauwi sa bahay and by that time probably your kids are already sleeping or by the time that you go out of the house to go to work because you have to go out early dahil sa 2 hours or 3 hours na traffic going to Quezon City or to Makati or to Manila or you know to 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 whichever you're going to work with then nasasayang yung oras diba and hindi mo pa maaabutan na gumising yung mga anak mo tapos pag uwi mo hindi mo rin sila maaabutan na gising so yung family time yung quality time it also affects you know the kind of lifestyle and the kind of upbringing that you will have within your family. Now, if you're looking for a property as an investment, then as, as you can see here, it's very strategically located. I mean, lahat ng area dito, it's very accessible going to Makati, to Manila, to Edsa, to Cavite, to Laguna, to Batangas, to Las Piñas. Diba? If, if you will present this to your prospective buyers or even to your future tenants in the office unit or condo units that you will be buying or even the house that you will be buying, then they would realize yung mga future tenants mo, yung mga future uh, renters mo, and even your prospective buyers na it's a very good location kasi marami silang mahukuha na advantage in the sense na yung South Station Transport Hub, yung mga community services na malapit dito, yung mga nearest churches, nearest school, and then the kind of lifestyle that they will have. Imagine you have the Westgate Alabang, you have the Philinvest City, you have Vista City, you have Novali, which is just, you know, gonna be near to them, like if they're having, it, uh, if they're having a staycation or even... 
you know, for expats, diba, who would want to, to stay here. So, there's a lot of reasons for them to actually choose your place if you're going to sell this or if you're going to have your place rented out, okay? Now, aside from that, okay, I'd like to discuss with you or to share with you the Northgate CyberZone companies that are already in the area. So, we have the Convergence Philippines Corporation. We also have HSBC Bank. APAC Customer Services Incorporated, Team Asia, and Informatics College, eTeleCare, GenPact, ITI Consulting Incorporated, and First Source Solutions Limited Verizon Business. Okay, now I'm sure you still have this question in mind. Why is it a good investment? I mean, why would I invest in this project? Okay, so... For you to actually consider a property or a project to be a good investment, you have to consider the location. You have to consider the price. You have to consider the projected future developments. You have to consider the community, the security in that area, and the kind of lifestyle that you could actually enjoy and experience. And as well as the accessibility of the location of the project of the area. So let's take a look at the projected property price, okay, within this area at Enclave Alabang. Now, this is an article that I actually got from ABS-CBN News. And according to Cuervo Far East, the property prices in the southern Manila West Growth Area in 2019, okay, will soar to 100,000 pesos per square meters, okay? Now, the Southern Manila West Growth Area, it is actually described as parts of Las Piñas and Muntin Lupa on the west section of the South Luzon Expressway. Now, if you will go back on the first part of our presentation, we've discussed about the location. Ante Valabang is located in the Anghari Las Piñas. Okay, so it, it, you know, Ante Valabang is situated in the Southern Manila West Growth Area. Now, according to Cuervo Far East, okay, in 2009, the lots in Ayala, Alabang, okay, their market value actually ranged from 30,000 to 30,000 pesos per square meter. And in 2014, it has jumped to 57,000 pesos to 62,000 per square meter. Now, the lots in Alabang Hill subdivision, on the other hand, their market value was between 14,000 pesos to 16,000 pesos per square meter. And in 2014, it has doubled to between 38,000 pesos to 40,000 pesos per square meter. Now, what's in it for you knowing that these were the prices of the lots in Ayala, Alabang, as well as in Alabang Hill subdivision during 2009 and 2014? Now, according to Cuervo Far East, for a high-end residential lot in the area, we're talking about the, the south area that we've mentioned, According to them, the projected land values could reach between 80,000 to 96,000 per square meter by 2019. And we're already at 2018. Next year is 2019. And this is on an average 10% annual growth. But if we're going to look at a 15% annual increase, Cuervo Far East has projected property values of high-end residential lots it could jump up to 100,000 to 120,000 pesos by 2019, okay? And an expected increase in the zonal values in the near term will affect the cost of sales for land, which will result in higher asking prices. What does it mean to you as an investor? If you're an investor, meaning to say you could ask for a higher asking price because of the effect of the, you know, increase in the zonal values in this area. And Enclave Alabang is located in this area. So, by 2019, if you purchase now, you could expect, like in 2019, a higher asking price of around, what, 80,000 80, to 90, 96,000 per square meters. Or at a 15% annual increase, you could ask for a, an asking price of 100,000 pesos to 120,000 pesos per square meter by 2019. Now, if we will take a sample case study for you to visualize you know, how much will be the return on your investment if you decide to invest in this project or even, you know, buy this as your first home or as your home and later on, you know, probably sell it or, you know, just just for you to have an idea. 
or or how much your house your property would be worth in the next coming years so let's take a look at the sample case study that i've prepared for you so for example for a minimum lot of 304 square meters which we call a premier lot okay so this is the smallest lot that we have available at Anclay Balabang. okay so in 2016 the lot price for a 304 square meters is 13 million 840 thousand pesos that's 45,526 and 32 cents per square meters now that it's 2018 and as i am recording this presentation our current price for a 304 square meters is 18 million 540 thousand pesos okay that's during this month which is march okay that's the updated price march 2018 and the lot price per square meters is 60,986 and 84 cents per square meters imagine the difference from the price of 2016 and 2018 now let's say if okay by 2018 the lot price would increase to 80,000 pesos per square meters according to what we've read okay from the research of um, Cuervo Far East okay then the lot price of a 304 square meters will be 24 million 320,000 pesos that would be our projected price in 2019 now if you have invested in 2016 if you bought the lot at 13 million 840 thousand pesos okay then by 2019 you will have a projected return on investment for the amount of 10 million 480 thousand pesos that's actually a gain of 34 thousand 473 pesos and 68 cents per square meters okay if you've actually bought in 2016 now if you bought in 2018 or if you will buy this year 2018 at the price of 18 million 540 thousand pesos then your projected return on investment is at 5 million 780 thousand pesos which you earn a gain of 19 thousand 13 pesos and 16 cents per square meter so that's still a gain on your part if you will invest now um, with the 2018 price so the difference of return of investment from 2016 to 2018 is at four million seven hundred thousand pesos so if you bought in 2016 then that's your gain but if you will buy in 2018 then you've already lost four million seven hundred thousand pesos right because the the 2016 price and the 2018 price has actually uh, brought you a difference of four million seven hundred thousand pesos so if you decided to buy last 2016 then you're actually in a very happy position right now with your investment because you're already looking at a gain of four million seven hundred thousand pesos and that's a difference of 15 thousand four hundred sixty pesos and fifty two cents per square meters difference imagine in a three hundred four square meters that's you know the difference that it could make if you know if, if you're able to look at the property if it's a good investment or not okay so looking at these prices you could very well answer why this property or this project at Ante Balabang is a good investment now why should you invest now in this project okay now you're you're actually convinced that yes okay it is a good investment or it probably is a good investment but why would i invest now i mean i could wait next year or in the next two years if there will still be available you know residential lots by that time because as i've said we've already opened a uh, phase 2b in in this project and if you will combine phase one and phase two B, we've only got 18 lots available for sale. That's just 18 lots for the whole year of 2018. Who knows, maybe before April, May, or June, it's already been sold out. So why should you invest now in this project? Okay, so for again, for a premier lot of 304 square meters for our sample case study here, Okay, so the price if you bought it in 2016 is 13,840,000 million eight hundred forty thousand pesos. If you will buy that in 2018, then it's eighteen million five hundred forty thousand pesos. Now, if you will buy this in 2019, okay, 
provided that there are still uh, available lots in 2019 and at a projected price of 24,320,000 pesos. Your projected return on investment, if you will plan to sell it in 2020 at 27,360,000 pesos, okay, then if you buy, if you, then if you bought this in 2016, then you will have a return on your investment projected at 13,520,000 pesos. But if you will buy this year in 2018, like, you know, after hearing or after seeing this detailed project presentation of Enclave Alabang and sell it in 2020 at 27,360,000 pesos, then you would still have a projected return on investment of 8,820,000 pesos. Imagine that's just two-year difference, okay? There's just two-year difference of buying the property now and if you plan to sell it in 2020, you will be gaining 8,820,000 pesos projected, the potential that you could actually gain from investing in this property now. But, if you will decide to buy in 2019, if there are still available lots by that time, and sell it at 27,360,000 pesos as well, then your projected return on investment is 3,040,000 pesos. Imagine the difference if you bought it in 2016, if you bought it in 2018, or if you buy it in 2018, and if you will buy it on 2019 there's a big difference in the return or the potential return on your investment. Now, let's say, for example, you're in a situation wherein you need cash and you want to sell the property really, really fast. And it's already 2020. And you decided to sell it for 24 million pesos against 27,360,000 pesos. Now, if you bought it in 2016... Okay, your projected return on investment is still at 10,160,000 pesos even if you decide to lower it down to 24 million pesos. Now, if you're the person who will buy it in 2018 or if you will buy this year and then in 2020, you will also sell it, okay, just to, you know, just to be in competition with this person who bought it in 2016 who's selling it for 24 million and you you also want to compete with that price okay that and you're also decided to sell it in in 2020 and sell it for 24 million then your projected return on investment is 5,460,000 pesos that's if you decide to buy this year 2018 okay now let's say for example you are the person who bought it in 2019 you waited for 2019 to happen before you decided to invest in this project or in this property. And also, you want to compete with those people who bought it in 2016 and in 2018. And you've lowered your price to $24 million because you also need cash and you also want to sell the property fast. And you want to compete with them. But if you sell it for $24 million, you would be at a loss of 320,000 pesos if you will buy it in 2019, okay? So, as you can see here, the reason why you would want to invest now is because of the difference of time, diba? As you can see, yung maagang nag-invest at nakakita ng magandang opportunity in investing in this property at Enclave Alabang, mas malaki pa rin yung magiging return or projected return on, on their investment if they decided to buy it in 2016. Kesa dun sa bibili ng 2018 at sa 2019. But still, look at the possibility if you will buy now in 2018, okay, at, at, at this price which is at 18,540,000 pesos for a 304 square meters, you will still have a return, a projected return on investment of 5,460,000 kahit na makipag-compete ka doon sa mga nakabili ng 2016. But then again, as I've said, you have to realize the difference of how time can actually affect the return on your investment on the property or projects that you're actually considering to buy. Okay? So nakikita niyo po dito sa sample case study natin, if you will decide to buy at a later date, which is, you know, probably next year, 
then you would probably at the losing end if you will compete with these people who have already invested, you know, in 2016 and this year, 2018. So, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's something that you really have to think about on why you should invest now in this project. Now, why choose this as your home? So as I've said, for those people who are not looking at this as an investment, then why would you consider this as your first time home for your family or for you to have it as a second home or a, a third home? Or you're really looking at this property where you and your family could live. Now, first reason is for you to be able to live in a prestigious South community with a much sought after coveted address. I've already presented to you the location, where it is located, what kind of lifestyle you and your family could enjoy and experience living at the Enclave Valabang because it's near Philinvest West City, Vista City, Novali, Westgate, Alabang, Madrigal Business Park. And the reason why it is a prestigious South community, remember, you're beside Ayala, Alabang, you're near Ayala, South Vale, Portofino Heights, and Versailles. Okay, so that's the reason why it is a sought-after coveted address. Also because of the entry-exit points that are near to your place, which is you're near to MCX, SLEX, Skyway Exit, Philinvest Exit, Alabang Sapote Road, and Anghari Road. And also, we're giving you the opportunity to build your own home from your own concept and design in an exclusive and secured residential community. When we say exclusive and secured, you could be assured that your family, your kids, you know, your husband or your wife will be safe in this community. And then the opportunity for you to build your own dream house. We always want to have our own dream house. I mean, I'm sure most of us have our own design or our own concept of what our dream house would look like. And being able to buy a residential lot wherein you could build your own home, okay, from your own concept and design, it's actually an opportunity. Instead of buying the house and lot packages wherein you cannot have your personal touch on, you know, how many rooms or what kind of rooms will you have in your in your own house. Imagine you're the one who's going to live there. It's your family is going to enjoy living in that house. So might as well grab the opportunity of building your own home from your own concept and design. And lastly, you will get to enjoy the experience of living in a master plan nature inspired residences. I mean, if you're busy from work and you're working in Makati or in, you know, central business districts that are really, really busy and you would want to go home and be able to relax, not just in your own home, but also in, in an exclusive and residential community where you're able to see lots of trees, um, nature-inspired, and at the same time, I'd like to inform you as well that 40% of the development of this project has been dedicated, okay, for the Central Park as well as the clubhouse. For you to be able to enjoy living in a community like that, it's, you know, it's, it's really priceless for you to have that experience. And this is a walkable environment, so you'll be able to get to know your neighbors and build community with them. And, you know, there's just few of you who will be living and enjoying uh, this community in this in this village. Now, what are the amenities at the Enclave Alabang? Of course, we have here the main gate. It's a sight to behold. If you've been through the Anghari Road, I'm sure you've seen this. Um, it's already there. You can see the actual uh, main gate of this exclusive and secured village. As I've mentioned, the Central Park. It's a walkable environment. You get to know your neighbors and be friends with them or build a community with them. We have a man-made lagoon. It's nature-inspired. And then children's playground. We have fitness gym and function halls available at the clubhouse. And we also have lap pool and kiddie pool inside the clubhouse. And private function rooms where you could have your business meetings or business conferences. And what are the floor plans and designs for Enclave Alabang. So we have the through lot model house. We also have corner lot model house. We also have the premier fortune lot model house. Now, all our house and lot packages are sold. We only have residential lots. But if you want, you know, to actually have this kind of model houses, and, you know, by, by, by any means, you could 
build uh, your own home according to this uh, model houses that we already have. Now, this is the actual photo of a bedroom in a through lot model house, the kitchen and dining area in a through lot model house, where you can enjoy time with your friends or visitors. And we also have the living area. This is the actual photo of a living area in, in a through lot model house. We also have the dining area and the stairs of a through lot model house. Now, what are the benefits of living at the Enclave Alabang? You know, as much as I would want to answer it for you, I think you're the one who would be able to answer what would be the benefits for you living at the Enclave Alabang. Or, you know, if you're looking at this as an investment, what would be your prospective buyer's benefits of choosing this uh, property? So I would actually want to throw back the questions to you and think for yourself what benefits you could really have in living at Enclave Alabang. Having discussed to you all the project details of our project, the Enclave Alabang, the location, the price, projected future developments, the accessibility, the kind of community and the security that you will get to enjoy, and the kind of lifestyle that you'll be able to experience living at the Enclave Alabang, I'd like to throw these questions to you. Do you want to live in an exclusive and secured community? Do you want value for your money as part of your investment goals? Do you want to enjoy a lifestyle that speaks of your achievements? And do you want a healthy balance of making good memories with your family while building your business or career? Do you want to create lasting memories that your whole family will cherish? So I will leave you with these questions for you to answer to think on, to reflect on, because you're the only one who could actually answer if you would actually enjoy the benefits of living at the Enclave Alabang or even choosing Enclave Alabang as your investment. So this is Lourdes Galang from the PhilippineProperties.com and I hope you've actually learned a lot from the detailed project presentation of one of the projects of Filigree, which is the Enclave Alabang. So if you have any questions or if you have any concerns about our project then you could contact me with the details that is showing on your screen right now you could call me or text me on my mobile numbers you could also send me an email you could visit my website thephilippineproperties.com to check for more projects that we have available so don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more tips on how to invest and to get updated with the latest uh, real estate properties here in the South. And also please like my Facebook page as well as follow me on my Instagram account. Okay, so thank you for listening. Thank you for watching my presentation for the Enclave Alabang and see you on the next project. Bye!